Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about how to create deep emotional intimacy with your lover. This is going to be a set of uh, videos on this topic because it's a very important one. When you engage into sexual exchange, what you want is to really feel this deep connection. So I'm going to give you a few tips about that. Tip number one, be present. So I'm going to give you some examples. For instance, you go on a date and the person you are with is on their cell phone, you know, texting and receiving stuff and messages. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm hearing you. Yeah, no, great. Uh, oh, hang on. The, I just got a text from my ex and uh, no, it's my mother. Hey, yeah. Hi, mom. Can you can I call you later? Because I, you know, and you are in this kind of exchange where you're trying to say something that really matters to you. And you see that the person is totally non present. Like they are not receptive to what you have to say. How frustrating is that, right? You can ask yourself and try to imagine how it feels to actually be in a conversation with somebody who is not listening to what you have to say. So this happens in conversations. Technology is a huge distraction nowadays. You know, you have all these videos online about, you know, people being on their cell phone all the time. And uh, guess what? It's true. If you come back from work and you see your partner behind a computer and then you try to establish connection and they give you just a quick kiss and then they go back to what they were doing online, it's like, uh, I need more than that. I need a hug. I need to make connection. I need to make energetic and emotional connection with you. And it's not something that you are giving me right now. So. If this is something you enjoy receiving and you enjoy giving as well, you have to take the time to actually be present with your partner, especially if you are engaging into any form of sexual exchange, any form of intimacy. So the way you are present with somebody is first you put aside technology. Okay, you turn off your cell phone or you put it somewhere where it's not going to disturb you. That's step number one. Step number two is you slow down. Instead of being in a place where you are, oh my God, I'm so worried, I went to work and, uh, you know, trapped into the worry mode, into the, you know, this kind of uh, brainstorming, shaking of, uh, of your ideas and your mind, you want to slow down. So slowing down means you are going to start talking in a way which is much more hypnotic. You slow down, you pause, you integrate when you are having a conversation with a person that you love and with who you want to engage sensually. It becomes way softer, it becomes easier to relax. You want to bring in relaxation. So that's the tip number two. Tip number three, you make eye contact. It's like you look into the person's eyes. And if you are not comfortable with looking into the person's eyes, ask yourself why. Very often the reason why we are pulling back and not actually making eye contact. See, imagine that right now I'm looking straight into you, right? But imagine that I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, da, 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 da. I'm getting extremely distracted and not being really present because I get distracted by what's happening over there and over there. And it's also a way of avoiding creating contact and connection with you. So be present and slow down and make eye contact and avoid distractions. Another tip and another way to be present is once you start engaging sensually with somebody, it's like you keep an eye, you, you stay aware about what's happening in the other person. It means that you stay in contact. How many times did you hear that? That when somebody is having an orgasm, you know, imagine that you are a man and you are having sex with this beautiful, gorgeous woman that you love. She wants you to look at her in the eyes because she wants to have emotional connection with you. She wants to know that she's safe. She wants to know that there is a human being there who is fully responsive, entering in an energetic resonance with her. So as human beings engaging into intimacy, it's essential for us to be able to stay present for each other. So that's the tip number one. Be present if you want to create deeper emotional intimacy with your lover. I'll come back soon with another video with the next tip.